everyone, it's me, Norwegian colorist Birgitte, and I am back to show you part two of my coloring book collection. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, go watch that. I will link it in the description. So, without the more talking, I will get straight to it and start with Lizzie Mary Collins Magical City. This is a swirly book. <laughs> it's really different from other books that I have. Um, and I absolutely love it. I am doing this book in order and I'm also only using ink tents in it. And that you will see in my finished pictures videos. So in this book there is all, always a, a little bit of text in it where, which is saying where on earth it is, <laughs> basically. Here for example Tate Britain, Globe, Old English Village, Great Wall of China. I can look up references when I color in this book. That was The Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen. Next one is The Magical Journey. I have not colored in this one yet. But it's the same style. And it also has the names on the places. There are some talking bubbles because it is telling a story about Lizzie traveling around the world. So in this book, you can see London, South America, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, and USA. So that is the magical journey. And the last book that I have by Lizzie Mary Cullen is The Magical Christmas. This is the Norwegian book. So this is the same as well. Only that this is Christmas themed. Oh, spoilers. That is Lizzie Mary Cullen, Magical Christmas. I do wish that I had more of her books, but as for now, I think they are out of print. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they will come out again. I hope so, because I really love her books. But anyways, the next ones that I have is Fabiana Atanasio's books, and this is Peter Pan. And these books are so cute. Look how cute. Absolutely love her style. And 
at the start there is a story about Peter Pan and it's the same on the other books that I have from her. And the next one is Snow White and this is the Italian book. And this book is also super cute. I haven't colored in it yet. So all of her books is same format with uh, the story about different yeah, it is this is the stories <laughs> basically uh, known stories from Disney and yeah, that was Snow White. Then we have the Jungle Book. Look how cute this is. That was the Jungle Book. And the last one I got from her is Alice in Wonderland. And I do want all of her books, but they are really hard to get. And these stories are not originally Disney, but I guess most of us know them from Disney. Uh, some of them are uh brothers grim i think and yeah pretty old stories that was alice in wonderland next up i got the beauty of horror by alan robert this is the first book and this is a horror book. It's a really horror book. It's really detailed. Um, I hate this page because I am extremely terrified of spiders. Arachnophobic. Look at all these details. The illustrations are amazingly done. This one also have a seek and find. That was beautiful horror. Then we have The Beauty of Horror 2. This is Guliana's Repertorium. And what I forgot to mention is that Guliana is all, on, all in the books as like a story. Not calling in this one yet. But I'm looking forward to coloring it in October. That was number two. Then we have number three, uh, and this is the haunted playgrounds.
So there's a bunch of roller coasters and, and games and clown circus. Everything from the playground. Amusement park, I guess. Here I can name them if I want to. I do believe some of them are named. Yeah, these are named. There is a fourth book which is out now, but I don't have that one. That was The Beauty of Horror 3 by Alan Robert. Then I got the pop manga coloring book by Camilla D'Erico. Her style is beautiful. It's more like a sketched style. Super cute book. You now this little guy going telling stuff throughout the book as well. So that is the pop manga coloring book. And I got the pop manga mermaids and other sea creatures. So it is what the name suggests. All about sea creatures. She also got a new book out, but I don't have that one either. That was the Mermaid's book. Then I have a Disney Villains book. And this is a official Disney book. Hardcover. And it's all about the villains. Oh, <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of pattern stuff in it, which I, I'm not really a fan of. But I guess I can just color over it. So there are different chapters. Like here, monsters and sorcerers. I guess this is animals. That was the Disney Villains 100 Images to Inspire Creativity and Relaxation. Then we are moving on to all the video games, TV series and movies. Starting off with The Witcher. I absolutely love this game. And this book. So these are single sided and it is illustrated by 
three illustrators, I think. You see? Yeah, here. And it's published by Dark Horse. There's also always some text and quotes from the game next to the picture. I love this style. Uh, I think this is from... Uh, Yu Chen Tang. I don't know if I said that correctly, but... Let me know if any of you guys are, are gamers. I am a, I am a gamer and I game a lot, so... <laughs> so that was the Witcher coloring book. Then we got the official Game of Thrones book. And this is also illustrated by different people. Uh, and this is by Random House, I think. Let me see. No, it's Phantom Books. Yes. Yeah, it is Random House. Penguin Random House. So this is all about Game of Thrones. It's the same format with text and picture or illustration. Um, this is inspired by the books. So you wouldn't really recognize the characters from the series. I love this style. Uh, this is by Tommy Slav Tommy. I recognize the uh, the style. And I don't have any Tommy Slav Tommy books. Unfortunately. Or all the shields. So you can see the illustrators here, and there's some Slav Tomic. That was the Game of Thrones book. Then I have the HBO uh, Game of Thrones book. So here it is inspired by the TV show, and this book is bigger. I'll tell from here, I'll line this up. I can't zoom out the camera more. <laughs> so this is by Chronicle Books. And this one is different and it's not single sided. And it has some text showing what it is. So here you can recognize uh, the characters in the TV show. Jon Snow. Sansa. And so on. Let me see. I don't think they're... Yeah. Illustrations by Alan Jefferson and Adriana Mello. Here we got the Game of Thrones book. Next up is The Mouse Guard by David Peterson. And 
this book is oh just breathtaking uh i mean these illustrations are wonderful and they are so cute uh, and i have actually gone to the website to david peterson and found the characters and named them so my so i can color them correctly I, i'm not sure if they are 100% correct because there was a bunch of characters that I didn't recognize and because he has uh, comic books which this is inspired by I'm also doing this book in intense in order I just absolutely love every picture in this book so why not do it in order? <laughs> that was the mouse guard. Then we got the official Outlander book. This is also by Random House. So it's the same with the text and single sided. Absolutely love this series as well. I think this is Tommy's Love Tomic again. Here's here are the illustrators. And that was the Outlander book. Next one, I got the Dr. Seuss coloring book, which is by Dr. Seuss. Um, the HarperCollins children's book publishing. So this is the original artwork from Dr. Seuss. There's a lot of pattern pages here. Important. <laughs> that was the Dr. Seuss coloring book. Next one is Tomb Raider, another video game series that I love. Uh, and it is by Dark Horse and has the same format. And it is from all of the games, or at least most of the games, and different illustrators. I'm flipping from the backside now, but it starts from the oldest game and goes up. I wish there were more video game books like this. I absolutely love them. And I can relate and recognize stuff from the books. That was the Tomb Raider book. And we got the Nickelodeon The Splat Coloring the 90s book. I am a 90s kid. 
So this is memories. I don't recognize everything because uh, I do recognize Arnold, but um, and the Rugrats. <laughs> but I wasn't cat dog. <laughs> I wasn't really a Nickelodeon watcher. Uh, I didn't have Nickelodeon. I think most of my childhood. Um, I was more of a, a Disney Channel and Cartoon Network. But I do believe some of these actually were sent on something called Fox Kids that we had, if I remember correctly. And I really, really hope there's coming out a Cartoon Network <laughs> coloring book because, yeah, that's most of my memories. That was the Nickelodeon, the Splat coloring book. Then we have Claire Scully. Um, Bill Mark in Norwegian, but let me see. I don't think it says what the original name is. Maybe in the back. Uh, Nordic Wildness. I uh, think it's German. I don't know. Anyways. All nature and animals. I absolutely love these pictures. A lot of detailed stuff. That was the I guess, uh, wilderness or something by Claire Scully. Then we have uh, great animals. Uh, let me see if I can find the original name. Um, the men menagerie. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. This is also by Claire Scully. And this book is a bit different because it has some colored elements on each page that is that one Then I have The Color Odyssey by Chris Garber. He's a tattoo artist. So these images, it's really beautiful. Like this cat. Not so much fan of. Uh, what should I call it? Sandudo patterns and stuff. But it's a lot of other great images in here. Here we can also see some of the um, images in the book, and I've been testing out stuff here. That was the Color Odyssey book.
Then we have The Time Garden by Daria Song. I believe it is The Time Garden. Yes. Yeah, The Time Garden. This I got in the start of my coloring journey. Um, but I haven't colored much. Uh, there's only one page colored in this. There's a bunch of clocks. And a lot of patterns. I colored a star. <laughs> and that was the Time Garden by Dario Sang. Don't have any other books of her. Then we have the Tattoo Coloring Book. Just add color and create a masterpiece. I think this, uh, this is a series of books. This is the only one I have. Uh, it is by... Carlton Books. Um, this is a book with a lot of tattoos, tattoo designs. I mostly test stuff in here, like new techniques or new mediums or I have a bunch of vips in here. One, two, three, four. Four vips. Oh, spoilers. So that is the tattoo coloring book. Next up is a no name book. Uh, there is nothing on it. There, there's no publisher. There is no illustrator's name. Nothing. <laughs> but it was from a store here in Norway. So I guess it is that store, uh, their own coloring book. It is perforated uh, and I have taken out a lot of pictures here because there are some of the pictures perfect, like these ones are perfect to cut out and color them and have them as Christmas cards, uh, to and from cards on Chris Christmas gifts. So I have done that. So there's a good variety of stuff in here. There's Christmas and flowers and some animals. They are all single-sided, so I can use alcohol markers. I have no idea how you can get this book. I do believe they only exist in the store that I talked about. The store is called Rusta. So I have no idea if <coughs> that store exists outside of Norway. So yeah, that was that one. Then I have mandalas, um, wild animals. Not really into mandalas, uh, but this one is different. Not like all this repetitive pattern. It's all animals. Really like this one.
and this is by let's see uh, Vivian Ria published by Unicorn it's a Danish publisher I bought this in a local store yeah, there's a bunch of other books as well. Then we have Relax with Art Holiday Special, Summer Holidays, A Coloring Journey. Just found this in a local uh, kiosk. I don't like all the images in this book. Uh, I don't like the images with people because I don't know I think they look a bit weird uh, it does seem like a computer made these drawings from actual pictures if you know what I mean um, I do like the pictures of scenes like this and there's I don't know, there's a bunch of weird elements in here, like, let me see, like here they draw in the, the shiny stuff on her skin, uh, and I don't like that because I want to pick the light source myself. <laughs> so what I might do with this book is scan it, um, erase the parts that I don't like in Photoshop, and then printed out on different paper this is like thin copy paper like here as well you can see the shiny stuff on the car I really like these ones might also put gesso on top of the pages and then I can just color over those lines I don't like and then they're gone It looks like a computer made it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think there is any illustrator named in this book. See? No, there's no illustrator. It's just said Broomley House. So yeah, that was the Summer Holidays book. Then I have some Creative Haven books. And this is Creative Kittens by Marjorie Sarnat. And these pictures are really whimsical and there's a lot of patterns in in the cats and stuff. This is all cats. These books are perforated as well. I personally don't like that because I don't want my pages to fall out. I would like them to stay in the book. So that was create Creative Kittens. And I have Home Sweet Home by Teresa Goodrich. And these books by her is so cozy. Absolutely love them. Okay. 
And as I mentioned in the first video, if you would like to see any flip throughs, like proper page by page, by any of the books that I'm showing, let me know. And we have the summer scenes by Teresa Goodridge. Uh, every book has colored pictures on both ends and also in the front cover. That was the summer scenes. And the last one by Theresa Goodrich and the last Creative Haven book that I have is Country Charm. I do want all of her books. I kind of regret buying uh, this one and and the summer scenes uh, instead of the the winter ones uh, right before my buying ban because I I bought these the end of summer so I should have had the winter ones now and the autumn ones but I guess I have to wait until. The buying ban is over, and that is probably next year. <laughs> then we have some children's books. Um, I don't have any children, but I think they are cute, so why not? This is Puppy Dog Pals by Disney. I don't know about this TV show or anything, but I found these cute, so... Really thin paper. But it works with colored pencils just fine. And there's like a little bit of text explaining the pictures. And there's our, there are stickers in the middle, and I'm following the same colors as the stickers, and I also googled a little bit to find correct colors of the characters. So that is the Puppet Dog Pals. And I have a Disney um, coloring book. Also has stickers, but they are taken out. So this is just clean, original art with no patterns or anything, which I really like. That was the Disney coloring book. Then I have uh, On the Farm. And this is Norwegian. And it is from a store called Nille. Uh, not sure if that exists in other countries. Maybe in the Scandinavian countries, but I don't think so. I think it is in the region. It is illustrated by Daniela Massironi. Yeah. So, but these are really cute. They're super cute. This is all like farm animals and stuff. 
Sometimes I just find it chill to color books like this. <laughs> Meant for children, but yeah. That was that. And then I have another one. Uh, this is under the water by the same store. Super cute. I'm not sure if you actually can get it from their websites. I don't know if they're they are chipping outside of Norway. I have no clue, but I might check it up and if I find it, I can leave a link in the description. And that was the underwater book. And also the last book of this part. Um, I will do another part with coloring books. Uh, where we can see all the coloring haven books and all my big books and all my small books. Uh, and then I guess there is one more video with all my PDFs. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, as I said, let me know if you want to see flip throughs. Uh, and then I will make separate videos of that. Um, make sure to subscribe and like and all that. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!